Let's you, get to a little little taste of football. Oh, what so, did Jonah uh, say? Uh, Jonah Schaefer put out an article today and said he looked at um, 45 th- deep passes from Lamar. Mm-hmm. And uh, he talked about <laughs> all 45 passes in his article and basically said something that I said during the season that Lamar missed on some throws. And um, when I said it during the season, you know, I was kind of crucified, you know, put on a cross. The, they said that I was a hater and they said that all quarterbacks missed throws and, and that I shouldn't be saying that and whatnot. And the thing is, and I'm going to defend my position, and I'm going to kind of defend Jones a little bit because it is true. Lamar missed some throws. But what's magnified in this case is because when Mahomes missed throws, we know Mahomes is going to throw the ball 30, 35, 40 times a game. When Josh um, Allen missed throws, we know Josh Allen's going to throw the ball 25, 30, 40 times a game. When uh, somebody else missed throws, they're going to they gonna have more opportunities to throw the ball. When Lamar missed wide open throws, it's more magnified and it's more serious to us because he's probably only going to throw the ball 18, 19, 20 times a game. So if he missed five, four or five throws, it's it's a bigger issue to us and it's more – the percentages is, 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 is more important to us and then we make a bigger deal out of it because he's not going to throw that many times. So, yes, he missed throws. And we know everybody else missed throws. But when he missed throws, it's more important. It's more blown out of proportion to us because he don't have as many attempts. So all that mm-hmm. stuff about the that people say that the run the receivers are slow and we drop more. And I I understand all that stuff happens. Yes, yes, that stuff is true. But when you don't have as many attempts to throw the ball, you just gotta hit them. I, I'm sorry. But you, you gotta hit him. You can't say you gotta hit him though. Everybody misses throws. Like you can't ask Lamar to be perfect. He's not perfect. I don't know. Like, I can be perfect. No, nobody, not, nobody not is. Be perfect. I'm just saying the pressure is there because if <laughs> and I hate to use baseball because because y'all don't like baseball. And when you see me keep doing this, I'm looking at baseball. That's what I'm, doing. <laughs> I'm watching baseball <laughs> over my screen. And my sorry miss I just can't win the darn game. <laughs> um, but it's like baseball when you when you don't get that many at bats, you got to make the most of them count. And that's that's the same situation. And am I hating? No, I'm just calling a spade a spade. Do I agree completely with Jones? No, but I do see some validity in his point. But you, you can say you you got to try and make the most of a lim- of limited opportunities, right? But you can't say, hey, this dude is is a worse hitter than other guys who get much more opportunities because he has the same kind of. Uh, you know, you, you get. I'm not doing baseball. I'll just forget it. All right, listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he he misses the throws. He, he does miss those absolutely. And like you said, every other quarterback does as well. Uh, you know, Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, whoever you wanted to be, they all miss throws. It's not on Lamar that they don't have the same number of opportunities. It's not on Lamar that the team didn't put viable starting wide receivers out there who can bail you out of some missed throws, which also happens for other quarterbacks, right? Uh, it's not it's not fair to Lamar to say, hey, you just got to be better than every other every other player that plays your, your position uh, just because, you know, we that's the reason we've put you in with poor coaching, poor team building, et cetera. Like, we don't look at a running back and say, yeah, I know that we don't block for you, but I mean, Nick Chubb's going for like five a carry. I'm gonna need you to pick it up. You know what I mean? Like, I can't run over Aaron Donald. Uh, I'm gonna need you to block him, but we can't. So he, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta find a way. Mm-hmm. Like we don't, we don't, we don't say that about other players, other positions. So it's not really fair to say it about Lamar. But yeah, absolutely, he misses, he misses throws for sure. And I think a part of that, and this is just me, my, you know, my opinion of watching it. I think part of it is. There's times when he gets frustrated, and not even so much the missed throws, but you've seen him throw interceptions and just terrible decisions. Mm-hmm. And it, and to me, it, it, a lot of times it's like he's just saying, "F it, I'm just going to throw it," <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think you should see a lot less of that uh, this year with a much better supporting cast around him. Hopefully. Yeah, so um, I understand what both of you are saying. I understand what you're saying, B. Other quarterbacks miss throws all the time. And I understand what you're saying, Coach. What you're saying is because he's throwing at l- with with limited opportunities, his pa- his completion percentage should be a little bit higher because he's having less attempts to miss, so to speak. But all in all, in my opinion, it's not even about the misses and the hits. Is he winning games? 
That's my only concern. I couldn't care less what his completion percentage is because I do believe over his first five years, he's well over 60% in completion percentage. So I don't get it. But also, I think it's not even about the passes and the ones that he missed and certain things that happened. He's trying to make plays first and foremost. Mm-hmm. When when we don't have the offensive pieces to make things work, he's trying to make plays. But just the most the the thing that I get from all of this is me as a reporter, I was wrong about Lamar. 63.7, Hendo. Yes. So me as a reporter, I was wrong about Lamar. I said he should have switched to wide receiver, maybe should have done something else. He didn't do it. Now I got to save face. So I have to nitpick at every little thing that Lamar does. So when I see that he's missing throws in practice, oh, look, I told y'all he wasn't a real quarterback. Who cares? Is he winning games? And is he doing it his way? I think um, throughout his first five years in the NFL, his his passing stats are in uh, one of the top ten highs ever for completion percentage and certain other things as far as rookie to fifth year goes. No one wants to talk about that. All they want to talk about are the little mistakes that they have. And like we saw with, with Victor Wimanyama, he missed, he missed some shots in practice. See what he does during a game. I don't mm-hmm. care what Lamar's doing here or there. We don't know if the receiver ran the wrong route. We don't know if the wrong play was called. If Prochet heard the wrong, you know what I'm saying, the wrong <laughs> route. Well, we, right. well, we, did, we did find out that Mark did a lot of, was allowed to do a lot of freelancing. Freelancing, which, which, yeah. Which, contributed to a lot of receivers being in the same spot but that came out after Greg after was gone. oh thanks and just like with that um i still i remember one in particular it was tyler wallace down the right side and lamar missed him bad <clears throat> but come to find out tyler ran the wrong r- route and everybody's crying see this is why tyler needs to get more playing time because he needs this is that this is why he doesn't need playing time because he doesn't <laughs> know where he needs to be on the field but nobody's going to go back and say yeah well you know lamar put it in a spot that he was supposed to it's just the receiver wasn't there it's the nitpicking just to prove somebody's ego was right about lamar when they weren't mm-hmm. i go um <laughs> um no I, I think i think it's fair you know um because when you when you're watching a player, you're gonna you're gonna highlight you know obviously I mean obviously we're gonna highlight the good that they do, but we're also gonna highlight the bad. Now where the bad comes from, that's a big, you know that's where where the the message gets lost a little bit. Like like let's just say for example, if Coach puts it out, I know Coach isn't a Lamar hater, right? You know if Jason Lockenfora puts it out, I know he's a Lamar hater. You know it's a big difference. But there are certain people who gear more towards the negative than they do the positive. And I think when you have somebody that's fair, like where the message is coming from, somebody that's fair, Mm -hmm. that's when I I listen to it. And I want to see what they saw, what their Mm -hmm. opinion is. And and I think it's fair to, you know, point out, you know, give Lamar the praise that he deserves. But also, where can he get better? Where can he take his game to the next level? Where can he be more consistent? And, you know, going back to college, you know, outside the numbers, that was always, that was never his strong point, you know, and he's, that's something that he's always had to progress at. Unfortunately for him, when it comes to that department, he landed in the wrong place with mm-hmm. the wrong coordinator because mm-hmm. a Greg Roman offense, that's not going to make you better throwing outside the numbers mm-hmm. at all. But now with Todd Munkin, and we've heard Lamar say this, you know, I mean, well, we heard him speak, what, two, three times already? And he's talked about wanting to throw the ball more. So every single time he's been in front of the press, this is something that he's talked about. So this is something that he's clearly been wanting to do. And now hopefully with Munkin and the new weapons, you know, that he's able to take his game to that next level and and show that consistency in that area that's that's been lacking a bit. Right. And in and, and Jonah's defense, he didn't just categorize. He didn't lump every throw in the same category. He mm-hmm. took every throw and talked about it. Some were on the receivers, some were on concept, some on Lamar. So I, you know, I'll bag him on that because he took every like in his little article, he didn't just like write write three paragraphs about all 45 throws. He got 45 paragraphs in his article. Mm. He broke down each throw, which I'll give him props for doing that instead of doing something like um, what's the guy that writes for ESPN for the Ravens? Um yeah, uh, Hems- 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 Jameson Hemsley. would have wrote oh, yeah. two sentences about four to five throws and said the whole thing were bad. Mm-hmm. So that's you know I'll give him props for trying to break down each throw and trying to not lump everything in, into one thing. But still, you know it is what it is. And so you know, y'all go ahead and finish off. 
Go ahead, Mike. Was that was that the forty five throws from last year or overall? Last year. Oh, okay. So you know he did he what? How many games Lamar played? Nine, ten. Yeah, something like, something that. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, man. <clears throat> I do. Th- do I think he is the most uh, criticized quarterback or overly criticized quarterback? Yes. Um, I think, you know, he has to walk on water damn near <laughs> to get his props. Um, he's picked apart more than any other quarterback that I've seen. Um, as you guys said, we, we've seen other quarterbacks miss throws, um, you know, have errant pass, passes, bad throws, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, yes, he has that. Um, Lamar has – if you ask Lamar himself, one of the things he said he needs to improve on is his deep pass, right? So um, he knows, and uh, hopefully we see that you know we see some improvement there. Uh, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to say about. It. I mean, Jonas, you know, he he writes about this team, so of course he's going to focus on the quarterback of this team. Um, but I just don't see enough. My only problem. And I think B alluded to this. My only problem, you know, with these type of topics, especially when it comes to Lamar, is it just seems to be singularly focused on him. We, mm-hmm. We've we seen, you know, Josh Allen, you know, who in his own right is a damn good quarterback. But we, we've seen him have some pretty bad throws, you know, over the years. Um, you know, in particular last season, he had some bad throws down the stretch, uh, which is – Sort of why Stefan is 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 MIA or whatever he's going through right now, mm-hmm. um, but you just don't hear that, right? So that's that's my only problem with these type of things, man. You know, the good thing about Lamar is he takes this type of stuff, he knows where he needs to improve, and he works hard. So that's the good thing about him. He doesn't he doesn't get on social media. He doesn't get on interviews. He 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 doesn't cry about you know the criticism. He he just works his butt off. So that's the good thing about him. Uh, but you know, I guess it's fair. Yeah, he has some bad passes. We and we've said that here. I mean, we backed you, coach, when people was trying to come at your head or on your video, right? Yep. We backed sure you. Is. Listen, it it, it is the it, it's the fa- it's facts, and I think that's you know I think that's the the gift and the curse. Um, of this 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 roundup that we have here, right? <laughs> they, they, you know, they a lot of people can't handle the truth, and that's what we've done here over the entire season, and then this whole off season, we we give it, we keep it real with you. There's gonna be some some things that we say that you just don't like, um, but yeah, man, it's I guess it's fair, you know. But I let's let's I like to see it across the board with all quarterbacks. If we gonna bring them all out, let's let's have. You know, let's have a beat writer from each team break down their quarterback's hmm. worst 45 throws. And, and, they, then, and they, know, they may do it, but we we only focus on our team. Yeah, we focus here. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, but it's fair. Well, B, do they do they do that for uh, the Panthers? And, and have you noticed any of that I mean, for the Panthers? I, I mean, like, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's Sam Donald quick. and Baker Mayfield. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of work you put on the <laughs> <laughs> they used to they used to criticize Cam for sure, uh, but there was some other stuff that went into that. Uh, you know, these kind of articles, not something that, I, that I've seen uh, in particular, because uh, you know the beat writers tend to tend to be a, more positive about the the home team. Mm-hmm. But Cam, but Cam had a lot of the same issues that Lamar had. You know, in terms mm-hmm. of being a successful black quarterback, right? One of the top quarterbacks in the league. So I mean, we forget now, but they're, they these the media used to focus on Cam the same way. Yeah, they focus on Lamar. It's 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 just more hyped up with Lamar because Lamar is just he's doing un, ungodly things out there, right? But this, this is why he deserved the money right here, mm-hmm. right? He, the way he gets scrutinized and he has to be perfect. And you know, yes, yes, uh, the the local media is going to focus on on the local team, and obviously Lamar is, is a superstar, so they're going to focus on him more. Um, but like Chris said, man, it, it, like it's all about who it's coming from, right? The national media all knows if you say Lamar Jackson's name, it's going to get clicks. clicks. It's going to get it's going to get views, right? So, uh, you know, they're going to talk about him, and a lot of them are going to put that negative spin on him. That's why you're always kind of guarded when you when you hear somebody talk about him. But yeah, there are, absolutely there are times he needs to be criticized. Nobody's perfect. 
nobody's perfect, but you know, we feel like when he gets criticized, there's there's a little bit more meaning behind that, mm-hmm. right? That's why everybody's kind of like, well, wait, what do you what do you mean by that when you, when you say that, you know? And the and the problem is from those same people, you don't get the articles praising Lamar when he has games like he had against the Colts, right? right? You don't get the other side of it. It's just, hey, how can I criticize Lamar to drive traffic today? Right. And yeah. that's going to make a lot of the fan base more defensive. Right. Because because when you've been convicted of throwing while black, you know, you get defensive over your quarterback. <laughs> I mean, y'all remember what they used to say about him in, in, his, in his rookie year, how he had an advantage running the ball because, I mean, it blended in with his skin. And the <laughs> right. Oh, see. man. I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> buddy. That's crazy. 